It's absolutely a crisis. This year we're going to serve 100% more individual young people that are drop-in center than we ju did just two years ago. So this year we'll serve 1,600 individuals and their small children. Across Columbus, people gathered to have conversations about making the city a better place to live for everyone. One of those conversations was on what area nonprofits are calling a homelessness crisis. NBC 4's Isabel Cleary shows us how some are hoping to address it. Since 2022, the homelessness population here in Columbus has gone up almost 50 percent. That's according to the Community Shelter Board. Now community members and organizations are coming together to try and find solutions. Groups of people filled tables, all talking about ways to combat homelessness together. This community is hungry for change and they want to be a part of it, right? And so here's an opportunity to have a conversation about something that impacts literally every single life in this community. Whether you're homeless or you're not, it is, a, I would say, an epidemic. An epidemic that Columbus City Council member Shayla Favor wants to address. What we know is that there is no silver bullet to solve our housing crisis and that goes for homelessness as well. It needs to be an individualized support that really sees that individual as a person and recognizes their struggles and then we provide the resources to meet them exactly where they're at. At each table there was a representative from a community organization like BESA which hosted the event and works to get people involved in volunteering and Star House, which helps support homeless youth. We talked about the fact that in our community, we need to double the number of housing units every single year for the next 15 years at every income level to keep up with the growth that we're expecting and the need for innovation in housing to meet that demand. Other ideas were more third spaces where people can gather and to listen to those experiencing homelessness. Homelessness is up and it's there's such an opportunity to support people that are on the bottom rungs of society right now. They deserve to have dignity and respect like anyone else. Council member Shayla Favor says she wants to take some of these solutions to council with the hope to create legislation to combat homelessness. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.